Hello and welcome, my name is Matt, and let us play some Forza Horizon 5. Released in the past week or so, I actually got the pre-order edition because I am weird. But, uh... Hello and welcome to uh, Forza Horizon 5. I thought I'd try that again after a little bit of a false start. So very quickly on, I decided to get a McLaren. And because I really enjoy McLarens, especially GT3 variety of vehicles, um, I decided to mod this thing out, our 650S. So it could especially match my uh, nice little wheel that I've got here. So the one thing that I have as kind of a precursor that I have um, kind of disliked about this game is because it's fairly new, recently released. Um, it sounds like Forza Horizon 5 is very well programmed for you know, the Xbox or the Series S or Series X, but is, in my opinion, kind of a garbage fire on PC. Um, I've had, on controller, it will last 30 minutes, maybe an hour, with playing on the wheel, it will not last as long. Like, if I get a race in without it crashing, oh my goodness, that's that's in for a good day. And as you can tell already that we're having some um, performance issues. But I am just kind of driving around just because I enjoy, I enjoy the environment. It is very pretty. Um, I am so, 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 so happy that they fixed uh, a lot of audio issues, or should I say subpar engine sounds for Horizon 5. I mean, these, these vehicles just sound absolutely fantastic now. And the music as well. I mean, no complaints. Good old drum and bass, electronic music. It's just... If you don't already have this game, just, what are you doing? Just buy it. And that's even with me describing the fact that they have some massive bugs currently of the game just crashing all the time. I will still recommend the game. That's how much I love it. So if you're new to the channel, I think everybody is at this point. It's a brand new channel. But my first uh, video that I put out was a review of the Fnatic uh, CSL DD, the wheel that I'm currently playing on. I have played this game a little bit with the wheel already. And hands down, it is probably the best game with a wheel out there currently. If you're looking for a slightly more arcadey game. Uh, yes, you can play games like... Let me go back and grab that. Yes, you can play games like Assetto Corsa and iRacing and whatnot with a wheel, and I would absolutely recommend doing so. But just the force feedback, the, the type of experience that you get with uh, this game, there are so many different versions of rumbles that you get. Like... Nah, I, I can't drive upside down. Here we go. Um... There's just so much detail in the vibrations. That's cool. I am going to ignore that. And go do this brand new street race. So the one thing that I haven't figured out is... For whatever reason, the game will kind of arbitrarily decide button mapping with the wheels, where, for for example, I, I got it to work once out of all the different times that I played this game already. 
but the flashback button is X on the wheel. And it seems like it just changes the button mapping mid moment. So like you'll hit flashback and you'll go back. And then you'll try to hit the button again to go back further and then it pulls up photo menu. But then when you look at the um, individual buttons for the um, flashback, it says like button four. What does button four mean? I have an A, B, Y, and an X uh, pit limiter, a uh, left shoulder button. I, I don't get it. So here we are in a night race. I'm going to try my absolute best to stay on the racing line. But of course the AI has other things to say about that. Since I am playing with the webcam up in the top right corner, I I don't know what place I'm in right now. I'll let you guys know. And it looks like fourth. Looks like we got three people in front of me. 20% way through the race. I've never played in this part of the map before, but uh, I believe we've got some temples coming on up over here on the left. Downshift a little bit here, go on the inside, and we have made it through. Going very wide, and we're I feel like we're going to spin out. I'm surprised we haven't yet. There we go. I think what I've noticed, uh, a good way of being able to um, stop oversteer is kind of just letting the back end slide and maybe tapping the brakes a little bit. Now, I say that in... I can say that in retrospect. Do I very rarely actually listen to my own advice in the heat of the moment, shall I say? So we're going to go up through here, we're going to pass him. I totally hit that checkpoint. I was just about to make mention that I hit it. So again, I'm hitting the exact same button to go back. Rewind further, button four. Rewind further, button four. Photo mode. Button four was... Rewind further. Photo mode. <laughs> Just like, you've gotta be kidding me, guys. So I actually, I forget, here. So I'll hit R on the keyboard. Because apparently they know what that means. And I was the same distance outside of the checkpoint as I was before, and I took it, and they took it that time. <laughs> this game is not optimized for the wheel at all right now, unfortunately. I also don't have much of a top speed build right now. I haven't done any tuning, and these guys are just passing me. I'm like topping out at 170 right now. Sucks. So I'm hoping that we got a couple of corners before the end so I can make up the five places that I've lost. Apparently we're going over here. Uh, just burst through the guard wheels. Guard rails like nobody's business. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you break. Cool. <sighs> Second. I think I gotta do a new tune or something, because there's, like, no... There's no top speed on this. And when you're with... This is, like, 899 PowerPoint levels. <laughs> They've all got better top speed than you, so please. Did we crash? Did we? I think we might have. And we don't have audio this time? So in between crashes... I understand that this game is on my... 
hard disk drive my eight terabyte one but um these loading screens are really really bad i feel like i do need to get like an actual solid state drive for just forza horizon 4 forza horizon 5 and forza motorsport 7 because those those loading screens are just atrocious all right let's just do another street race I mean, I've unlocked road racing, but it, like, it seems rather unusual that there's only that one road racing event at the beginning, which I won, and there's absolutely nothing else that I can find. It's like this. Okay, fine. That worked. There we go. Guess I'll just drive on this part. <laughs> Don't mind me. I haven't driven up in this part of the map yet. It's very pretty. Canyon run. You have arrived at your destination. Let's do more McLaren. I really like this car. Whoever made that design just did perfect job on it. Apart from that little part. Don't think uh, they had that body kit in mind when they made it. <laughs> Ooh, kind of a foggy night. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cool. You guys get out of my way. I got I got a race to win over here. So like you can't see the racing line in this at all. <laughs> it's just too much fog, which is awesome, but then also the traffic as well is oof. Can't really see them as well. Until it's the last minute. Did a little bit of an oversteer there, was able to correct it. I don't really correct with this setup. I don't really correct um, oversteer. I just kind of let it happen, and if it spins me out, then I just refresh the flashback. Come on, there we go. Forty-seven percent. Nope. Yeah, I felt it slip, and I just said, you know, let's ride this one out. 53% second place. Excuse me. Yep, saw that coming. Let's <laughs> try this again. Come on. There we go. All right, we are now third place. We got to catch up to the Zakira. Fog has finally dissipated, so we can at least see a little bit what we're doing. 67%, so we got only 33% to make this move. I am surprised that I was able to remotely save that. Bingo. Now we just got to play defensively. Second place is a little bit ways behind us, but as we discussed before, I do not have top speed, so I am going to have to be very careful. There we go. Whew. Winning more street races. I 
I wonder if we should purchase a new vehicle. What are you guys thinking? 